everyone this is V buzzing with V welcome to another video well today's video is another mini album using scrap diva designs new die release this is the camera mini album die and I am in love you guys I always say that but I am telling you <laughs> These dies are just so cute. Um, I'm really not an album, mini album maker. However, after making these little mini albums, I am obsessed. So you will be seeing mini albums in the near future because I really want to make them. And also, um, I I think I I found something that I really enjoy. I love that there isn't any measurement taking. There's a die for it. It goes super fast. You don't have to worry about cutting and scoring and measurements and making sure everything's gonna fit properly. And in the end, it doesn't. So this is something that I really enjoy and I love the dies. I will be doing this in the near future. I haven't even tried SVG file mini albums either, so I'm um, that's something that's gonna be on my bucket list as well. So I just love this shaker mini album. So this is the die here. Um, there's so many pieces to it. Let me go ahead and show you all of the pieces that you will be getting. So you will get the the base, of course, which is this one. You'll also get the lining, which is this one. It already has some stitching on it, so you don't have to do your own stitching. For the lens, you get two circle dies for the lens, and that's what I created the shaker with, with this. So, um, and then you also get the whole die. This is for the Fine. And I didn't use this one. Um, I wanted only two holes and a little bit bigger than that to fit my rings. So this one's more for string. So if you have string and you want to create this, you can do that as well. This is Scrap Diva Designs information. She has an Instagram, YouTube. Um, right now her Instagram has been hacked, so she will be uh, fixing that very shortly. And she has a YouTube. She also has a TikTok, which I will have linked below. This is the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs. And I would recommend you follow that hashtag to gain more inspiration for all of her dyes. There's some talented crafters out there that have created amazing projects. And if I inspired you today, please use my discount code. It's V10. That's V-E-E-1-0. -E -E It'll save you. Okay, let's get on into this mini album, which I am so obsessed with. So to start off with, I did use um, the shaker element part of the lens, and you don't have to do that. Um, so I decided to do that. What I added inside are these star specialty glitter from Michaels. It's the Recollections brand, and I just... Put it all in there and I loaded it up with all of that and um, I recently was in a group swap and this flower is from Rhoda I will have her linked below and uh, I have this Joanne's heart right here I have some ephemera pieces in the back some floral I have this chipboard that says explore the butterfly um, here I'm also using Scrap Diva Designs flower die in this mini album. This is it here. I will have it linked below. It's definitely a staple. I find myself using it all the time. And this is the collection that I used is the designer is Maggie Holmes and it's made by American Crafts. It's called Road Trip. It's the um, new release that was recently released and look at this. The seam binding is from My Scrap Cabin Shop on Etsy. Beautiful seam binding. Um, I love the yellow. It's a bit like a yellow gold. So pretty. Okay, so the rings are from Amazon. I will have that linked below. They're one inch rings. And the tassels, oh my goodness, these tassels can be found anywhere. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby and the 99 cent store. So you can't even tell 
which are from where so they're so similar and also the beads the beads are from Hobby Lobby and they're wire wrapped I wire wrapped those beads I have four of them there and I love this I love this so much you guys okay let's get into it so I had to explain that okay so look at the back the back is plain I still need to add my information on the back so I will be doing that uh, off camera so the first page here is this this is where you put your picture I added a stamp there to signify where the picture will be um, going so I did leave a space underneath this chipboard piece here so um, whoever gets this will be able to put their photo in and there's also a spot here under the suitcases the luggage um, where you could put your photo there and then glue it down so on this side this ephemera piece here is um, a pocket I did do some stitching I added a chipboard piece here that says travel and an ephemera piece here that's a flower this pulls out here is some seam binding from the same Etsy shop and here is journaling this is a cloud that um, this is a die that I used in my stash so journaling in the front you can also do it in the back I did staple the cloud onto the um, journal card so there it is you guys okay so what I did use for the base is some uh, Hobby Lobby cardstock the heavy-duty white cardstock I doubled up on it and I glued them together um, and then I added pattern paper on the top and on the back and this feels like chipboard you guys I used hot glue I know some of you don't like hot glue however you're able to use your liquid glue as well or you can use some score tape score tape is definitely a staple when making mini albums um, however for minis like this um, glue, hot glue works for me um, so yeah I did use hot glue and it's so sturdy you guys it's like rock see I don't want to use my nails because my polish will it will come off so okay so the next page here it says explore I did use some pieces from other collections like this explore is from the sunny days collections by Maggie Holmes so I thought it went with it because uh, this is a vellum piece from the ephemera pack and I like it because you know it's a map and explore is perfect for that here is a fussy cut that I stitched on that says departure adventure and so this side the left hand side is the journaling pocket so here I added a large paper clip um, I picked this paper clip up from Amazon and I added this uh, little pointer ephemera piece. This one is from a Paige Evans um, ephemera pack. And then also I added some seam binding. So this is the journal piece. And this journal piece comes in the ephemera pack um, with a round trip collection. Okay, the right hand side here is for your picture. And this is where your picture would go. I did leave enough room to slide it there and glue it. Um, on the back are some floral pieces as well as a fussy cut that I stapled. These are ephemera pieces. The tickets are from Paige Evans line. I thought it went well with this because of the explore. There's tickets. You need tickets to go on an adventure of some sort. And so that is it for this page. The next page, I love it because you can add two pictures. So on the left hand side, you can add a picture here, which is glued down and behind this picture mat are some floral pieces. So um, on the left hand side of this page says, love this, I added some fussy cut florals from another collection as well, from a Michaels collection or paper pad. And right behind it, I added a, photo piece here that slides out so you would able to put your photo here on on the back you could do some journaling add a photo there here is an, a flower from the um, round trip collection and then you could slide this photo back in so now you have two 
two photos on one page. So on this side here, I have the taxi ephemera piece. I have a floral here in the background, another floral in the background. This journal card here is from the round trip ephemera pack and I stitched around it, added this Paige Evans arrow that says here and also did a fussy cut of this airplane. And um, this one pulls out, so you could do some journaling in the back. You can also put a picture here if you choose to do that. Okay, so the next page is the last one. And here, I love it because this is where you can add a larger photo. So the blue pattern paper is where you would cover it and add your larger photo there. So I love it because this mini album has mainly smaller uh, photo mats here. So I like it because the last page is like the grand finale of your road trip, what you did, and you're able to add more here and a larger piece. So um, on this side, the left hand side, the photo mat is in blue so you can add a large piece. It says travel here. This is a chipboard piece. This is an ephemera piece, a floral a yellow piece. Um, the circle lavender piece is a fussy cut which I also stitched on so you can't even tell once you stitch on these fussy cuts you can't even tell that they're a fussy cut they look exactly like an ephemera piece. So this is a pocket and I made this pocket a little wider so you could add um, possibly some souvenirs. So you can add souvenirs back there. Um, this journal piece comes out. Here is a heart-shaped paper clip, which I picked up from the 99 cent store. However, they do sell them, um, I believe, at, at scrapbook.com. I've seen them, um, and I believe that um, Maggie Holmes has a heart-shaped paper clip in her line somewhere. Okay, so this is a chipboard piece that I wanted to add in here because here you could um, use it for journaling or you can add a picture in the back of it. So if I turn the page here, I added some pattern paper to the back of that chipboard and you can add another picture or you can add write some um, journaling there. So, okay, the last page, the right-hand side here, same thing, you can add your picture right in here. I made sure that I left room to slide your picture in there. You could glue it or you could leave it there. And here it says, this is a fussy cut that says departure with the plane on there. This is also a pocket page. And uh, you pull this out, it's a circle piece. I added this brad here and so much journaling that you can add or even a picture on here. So this paper is from the Sweet Story Collection by Maggie Holmes. And so it, that just slides in there. And the last piece that I wanna share with you um, has yet to dry. And it is this cute paper clip that I made here of a strawberry and I think it's the cutest thing ever. I think I'm going to put it right here on this piece here. So here is a little strawberry piece. Um, this strawberry is uh, made with several die pieces. So the leaves were made with this floral die set and the strawberry came from this die set here from Scrap Diva Designs. And here it is right here, the strawberry. Such a cute little strawberry, which I absolutely love. And I um, used some liquid pearls for the yellow dots. So, and then I added some blossoms there. The blossoms are from my stash. I'm gonna take this off because it's still drying. But it's such a cute little uh, paper clip and um, if you've been following me, you know that I love making paper clip embellishments So that is the album you guys that is it. I hope you enjoyed that the um, Closure is the seam binding again, and all you do is tie it together and form a bow so that is my mini album design team project share uh, i will be making more of these i absolutely love this uh, a little birdie told me that i could possibly put these up for sale so this will be in my shop if you are interested in it the link is below 
I have a shop. It's very empty. I haven't had time for it, so um, this will be something there that you can pick up if you enjoy documenting your memory. A cute little way to document a snippet of your trip, a little trip that you go on that is um, doesn't require too many pictures, but it's such a cute little camera die and I absolutely love it. Um, Scrap Diva Designs information will be linked below and I will see you guys in the next video.